proxy design pattern. In case of proxy design pattern, the functionality of one class will be represented by another class. So, from the name proxy, this particular concept is getting supported. In proxy pattern, a class represents functionality of another class. This type of design pattern comes under structural design pattern category. So, in proxy pattern, we create objects having original object to interface its functionality to outer world. So, to understand this basic concept, let us go for one practical example and where we will be running one Java application and we shall be also drawing the respective UML class diagrams for the better understanding of the system and this proxy design pattern. So, here is the demonstration for you. So, here we are going to discuss the proxy design pattern. We know that proxy means in place of or representing or in place of or on behalf of and the literal meanings of proxy and, and that directly explains the proxy design pattern. And proxies are also called the surrogates, handles and the wrappers. They are closely related in the structure but not purpose to adapters and the decorators. So, here in this particular implementation using Java code, we are going to create an image interface and concrete classes implementing the image interface. Proxy image is a proxy class to reduce the memory footprint of real image object loading. So, proxy pattern demo, our demo class will use the proxy image to get an image object to load and display as it needs. But if the respective uh, real uh, image, if the respective class object is already existing, then I am not going to create another object against that. So, now let, uh, let me go for this implementation step by step. So, create an inst uh, interface that is the image.java. So, let us go for this image.java. Image.java is nothing but one interface image which is having, having only one unimplemented method known as display. So, step number two, create concrete classes implementing the same interface that is our image.java and here it will be real image.java and proxy image.java. So, now we are going for this real image.java which is implementing this image and it is having the private string file name and public real image. So, that is the constructor here we are passing this file name as input parameter. This file name will initialize or instantiate this instance variable file name and load from disk will take place. So, load from disk means another method that is a user defined method here. Uh, member uh, functions here within this particular class real image which takes this file name as input argument and which prints this uh, respective string that is a loading concatenation file name. So, that is my real image constructor we are having another method that is a display and which is displaying the file name. Next we are going for this proxy image. So, now we know that we have discussed this real image. So, let us go for this proxy image dot java. In case of proxy image.java, it is also implementing this image interface. So, as a result of that, this display method must be defined here, overwritten here. So, it is also having one instance variable of the type real image, there is a real image. So, string file name. So, proxy image is a constructor. So, string file name will be the input parameter. This dot file name, that is the instance variable file name, will be, in, will be initialized with this input parameter file name. So, here we are having this display and display is telling that if real image is equal, is equal to null, that means if the real image is null, then the new real image will be created against the file name. Otherwise, the real image dot display will take place in both cases if the real image is equal, is equal to null or if the real image is not equal to null. In both cases, the real image dot display will be printed. That means, this very method will be executed. So, that is a system.out.println displaying concatenation the file name. So, let us go for this proxy pattern demo. So, in the implementation, we are having the step number three use a proxy image to get object of real image class when required, and that will be uh, shown in case of proxy pattern demo.java and verify the output. So, that is a proxy. Uh, pattern demo dot java here we are having one image object that is the image is equal to new proxy image test underscore 10 mb dot jpg. So, that is the that is the one uh, image object 
image cl uh, class object, image in interface object we're uh, going to create. And it is getting instantiated using this new proxy image. There's a constructor passing this file name here as input argument. And then you shall go for this image dot display. We know that in case of proxy image, for the first time, this real image object, that is a real image, will be equal to null. So as a result of that, this real image will be instantiated here. So now what will happen? Now let me go for the output. So here you can find that this output. Loading test at 10mb.jpg and displaying test underscore 10mb.jpg. So loading means, so loading means you can find that here in this case, if this real image is equal to, is equal to null, it will go for this constructor and in this constructor, in this constructor load from disk, this particular method will be called after instantiating this file name that is a member variable and in case of load from image this loading plus file name will be printed so you are getting the same output here you can find that so loading plus file name is getting printed and then displaying the file name is getting pr printed so displaying file name is there so there is the display file name you know that whenever we are going for this uh, this particular proxy image the display method is being called so real image dot display is getting real image dot display is getting called here so as a result of that we are getting this particular message that is my displaying file name but when we are going to create when we are going to call this display method for the second time as this real image is is now having the instantiation so loading file name that is a loading from disk load from disk that method will not be executed so displaying file name will be executed here so that is the main theme behind this proxy design pattern. So let us go for a quick revision. So image.java is containing this interface. You are getting this code having only one unimplemented method display. Real image is actually implementing this image. So here we are having this display method. We are going for this file name, going, going for this display. Real image is nothing but the constructor here. So it is just uh, instantiating this file name and load from disk is getting invoked. This method has been called. Load from disk is there. It is passing this file name as the input argument and loading concatenation file name will be the output string to be printed. And here we are having one display method displaying the file name. In case of proxy image, which is implementing this image again, but taking this real image uh, class object as instance variable, you can find here. We are having this string file name. Proxy image is the constructor taking this file name as input parameter. This dot file name is equal to file name. So this file name is getting instantiated. Display method has been called. If the real image is already uh, is equal to equal to null, that means the real image is uninstantiated. Then the real image will get instantiated. So as a result of that, from this real image, this load from this method will be called. And otherwise, it is just uh, this real image dot display will be will be executed. So if the real image is pre-existing, only real image dot display will be executed. If the real image is not pre-existing, not instantiated, then it will be created. Then real image dot display method will be called. So here you are having this proxy pattern demo dot Java. And in this case, you can find that for the first time, when we are calling this new proxy image with this particular file name, then this image is getting instantiated and image dot display you can find here, I'm just executing the code. So loading, the file name is getting executed and then displaying file name is getting executed. When you are going for this image dot display for the second time, so displaying file name is getting executed. So image will be loaded from the disk, but image will not be loaded from the disk because already real image object is instantiated. So let us go for the UML diagram. So there is a class diagram you are having here. So this the interface is the is the image. This interface has got implemented in our proxy image, and this particular image is there. So that is a real image we are getting. It is also implementing this image. Proxy image is also implementing this image. So that's why it is showing that implementation. Real image is there. This particular proxy image, this particular proxy image is having one real image object that is a real image. So that has been depicted here. So it is having one object that is a real image. And this is our proxy pattern demo dot Java class. So this is our class diagram. So I think now the concept of this proxy design pattern is now clear to you.
Thanks for watching this video.